Mr. James Morrison. Yeah. Lovely to meet you again. Yeah, same. Hard Rock Calling. Yeah. Excited? It was mental. I, I mean, I don't know what to expect, but uh, I completely forgot that it was like a full-on rock concert. <laughs> but no, I went out and gave it everything I had. They were a little bit slow in the beginning, but by the end, they were there with me. So, but it was hard work, man. I sweated more than I've ever sweated today. It was full-on, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Of course, we're in the middle of London, Hyde yeah. Park. Love it. You know, it didn't it's rain nice. that much. Yeah, that's all right. It was all right, I think. I've been, I've been all over the place, and I was in Denmark, and it really rained there, and it was still good, so I wasn't too worried, but uh, yeah, it was good. And what was the vibe? What was the crowd like today? Uh, it was like uh, dad stock or something. I don't know. It was very, it was slow. It was really slow. You know, obviously they're Bruce Springsteen fans, so they go back a little while. Okay. Uh, I don't think they kind of knew who I was until the end, but uh, no, it was good. It was good. By the end, I had them. But in the beginning, they were just like, <laughs> what? You weren't your yeah. magic. Yeah, but fine. yeah, I gave it everything I had, man. So uh, yeah, that's all you can do, isn't it? Um, now, obviously, you mentioned him, the boss, Bruce Springsteen, playing boss tonight. Yeah, and what's man. it feel like to be on the same lineup as him? It's, it's mental. I mean, I went to see him two years ago, and uh, seeing him and his band made me really reassess what, what I needed to do to up my game. So uh, thanks to him, uh, I got a better band. And uh, yeah, and I saw, you know, what it's like to see a pro in concert. I mean, he, he's a pro, man. He does like three hour sets. I did an hour and a half, and I was screwed after that. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you know, he's, he's that kind of artist that, you know, makes real music, real songs, good lyrics, great melodies, he's a good performer, he's got a legacy, and that's the sort of thing that you want as an artist. You, he's the kind of artist you want to be. Yeah, and I read that you're a bit starstruck as well by him. Have you met well, him yet? I think so. Well, yeah, I do get starstruck, but I won't, I won't fumble over my words too much, I don't think. But, yeah, of course, yeah, it's Bruce Springsteen, man. Have you seen him knocking about backstage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got that close to meeting him, and it didn't happen, but... Uh, that apparently he was going to come over and say hello and thanks for doing the show or whatever, but uh, I haven't seen him yet. But uh, yeah, 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 give him time. Uh, yeah, I'll give him time. Yeah. Are you going to go and check him out later? Obviously, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And how does James Morrison do that? Does he just go in with a crowd or what? Does he do I'll the try, I, but sometimes <laughs> I can't do that. But yeah, I always try and do what the punters do, but uh, it doesn't always work out that way. Yeah. On the side of the stage. Yeah, people think I'm Chris Mine. <laughs> 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 I forgot about that. Um, so well, after tonight, what, what's up for you next? Oh, yeah. Uh, I've got a couple of days off, so I'm really chuffed with that because I've been gigging constantly for like all this year. But uh, yeah, a couple of days off, and then I think I'm doing Wembley with Take That. So I've been all up and down the country, man, doing different things with Take That, my own shows. Uh, I did a show at Hampton Court, which is quite small. And so it's just been quite varied, which has been nice actually. And how are those Take That boys? Do you hang out yeah, with good. them much? Not really. I saw I saw him. Uh, I saw I got Mark Owen to teach me how he uh, unicycles because I've always wanted to have a go. But then he just rode off into the distance and never came back. But uh, yeah, yeah, those boys have been cool, man. You know, I saw them on the first day of the tour and yeah. you know, said thanks for letting me on the tour. And the show that they've put on is massive. This you is know, the fair play tour, to it. Yeah, it? It's a brilliant show, yeah. man. You know, I'm not, I'm not a big Take That fan, but uh, the show itself is unbelievable. Have they got you to learn any new skills though? Like some juggling maybe? Well, I've been trying to juggle actually. Yeah. Uh, I can do it about, I can do three passes before I drop it. <laughs> But um, no, nah, not really, yeah. My, my only trick that I've been doing the last couple of days is moonwalking, because I'm obviously Michael Jackson dying. Yeah. Uh, well, can you, can you do some for us? I'll do you a little... A little bit of moonwalking, go on. That's, that's <laughs> very impressive. I didn't expect that. That's, <laughs> that's right. amazing. What was your reaction when you heard the news? Oh man, I was devastated. I heard it at one o'clock in the morning, so... My tour manager gave me that lovely news. So I didn't believe him. Uh, and then I t put the telly on. Yeah. Just seeing Michael Jackson is fine, but then dead next to it, it's just like. Yeah, I, I always remember when I was a kid, like that was going to happen one day. And I just never thought it'd be so sudden. You know, that's the thing. Maybe if he got a little bit older and then he died, people would be able to deal with it. But I think it's just so unexpected. It's kind of unfinished. That's what you get with Elvis and Kurt Cobain, all those artists that die before their time, it's just a sad, yeah. sad, sad thing. And of course, it was his live comeback was due to start next month. That's I was going to go see him. I had tickets to go see him, man, and I was good. But uh, obviously, you know, uh, his music will be around forever. So, I don't, you know, I'm not, obviously, it's one of them things that, you know, I'm gutted about, but I think I'm more gutted about him dying than not being able to see him live. You know, I think, uh, fair play to him, man, he's a legend. Have you had a favorite Jacko song? Oh, man, well, I was listening to Dirty Diana and it's killer. I was going to try and learn a cover of that, actually. I love Dirty Diana. It's like one of my favourite Michael Jackson songs. Billie Jean's obviously wicked. 
Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. I love it. It's very good. <laughs> well, listen, Jay, it's lovely to meet you. Right, no worries. That went well today. Yeah, We're going to enjoy the boss. Oh, yeah, definitely. The boss, man. <laughs>